All right, I think we're he live here. Well, we're live, but I think the video is like going. Okay, hey, how's it going, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, every video has this intro. Check out my channel for leak code and hacker rank solutions. Uh, playlist for all of them. Check the description for everything else. Uh, so guess what? I've had a ton of interviews recently because I'm trying to get a full-time job here. And everyone's asking me about SQL. Now, I didn't put... I put SQL on my resume. I took a class in SQL. But I am not that up to date on SQL. I think NoSQL is much more popular right now. But all these, you know, not going to say older people, but just anyone that's interviewing me right now is kind of obsessed with SQL. I know it's still used, very highly used, even though I think it's going to be only used in legacy software soon enough because I think NoSQL is a lot better. But uh, I'm going to start practicing for it just so I understand all these concepts like database normalization, foreign keys and stuff. So this is the first one on leak code. Uh, it's part of the problems. I thought might as well just start doing SQL videos. Big countries. Uh, I don't know why there's so many dislikes. Let's give it a dislike. Um, there's a table word, world, sorry, world. We have name, continent, area, population, GDP. If you haven't used a database before, this is what the database might look like in SQL. This is the schema. Okay, so we have some values here. And what we want to do is a country as big as if it, a big country has an area bigger than 3 million square kilometers or a population of more than 25 million. So write a SQL solution to output big country's name, population, and area. So we just want to grab the name, population, and area if there are more than 3 million people or, no, 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 if there's more than 25 million people or if the um, continent is bigger than um, 3 million square kilometers. So that's pretty easy. How do we do that? I'm targeting this video towards beginners. Sorry, guys, if anyone does already knows SQL. So let me just explain SQL in MySQL. We just, uh, see, we're going to use MySQL to pull things out of a database, manipulate databases, and do stuff with databases. Um, SQL select statement. So uh, the select statement is used to select data from a database. And what do we need to do? We need to pull data from a database. We need to pull a name, population, and area of big countries, even though we're actually using continents. So they actually wrote this problem wrong. That's probably why there's dislikes. Um, select star from table name. Our table name is world in our thing, but select star from table name, that'll select all of the values. So if we did select star from world, let's try it. Hopefully it works. Um, then we ran this, it would select everything, right? So this is our output. It's literally everything. So that's how you do that. Then you can select specifically fields. So if we selected customer name and city from customers, we would just get the customer name and city from all of the values. So if you look through SQL, you can learn a lot about this. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I already took a class in it, so I know a little bit. So what we have to do here is we're going to select the field names, name, population, and area. So select name, population, hopefully I spelled that right, and area from, we can probably do this all in one line, um, from world, the name of the database, world, where area is greater than three million? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, three million or population, right? It's or more than 25 million or, yeah, or population is greater than 25, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. That would be one way to do this problem. Let's submit it. There we go. So we select the field name, name, population, area from our database world when the area is greater than 30 million, uh, 3 million kilometers or populations over 25 million, just like it says. Uh, there's another way to do this in the solution. If you look at it, it's literally the same thing. It's a union um, between. So what happens when you actually select data from a database? It returns it in a new result set. It literally said that in the, I looked it up to show you guys that, but that's fine. So this would return something. So this one is a union between two queries. This one is select name population area from where world area is greater than 3 million. So this gets all of the continents, name, population, and area from the database where area is greater than 3 million. And this gets the other condition. And then it does a union, a set union, because these both return a result set. 
and it does a set union between these and whatever's left over is our answer. Um, you can do either approach, it says. This is the solution. You can look directly at this. And um, it says that this is actually optimal for some reason. Uh, I tried to look it up here, why union is better than or. It says solution is a bit faster than the first one. However, they do not have a big difference. So um, I'm not sure why union is better than or. Please let me know if you know. I'm going to look it up after this, but I'd still like to read the comments if you know. Um, so let me know. I'm going to start doing probably more advanced SQL ones too. Um, this was big countries. It was just, I'm just doing them in order here. So big countries is right here. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Please check out the other ones. I'm going to do SQL from now on. And that was it. That was the first SQL problem. See you guys next time.